It's not just that. It's not just the money. <laughs> Karen, you have said some shit to me that I just, I can't get over. You ain't said shit to me. You ain't done shit to me. <sighs> yes, I have. And I'm willing to get over it. All right, sisters fans, praise God. This is my last video that I need to record today, but it might be a bit of a long one. So uh, just so you know, remember, I think it was, the, dang, back in November, right? Um, It was the episode where Zach and Karen were over at Danny's place. And he finally kind of like told... um. Karen allegedly what she wanted to hear what was it it was either episode 16 or 17 at 7 or burning taboo it was early to mid November I just remember writing down every scrap of dialogue from the scene at Danny's house and I had hand cramps but you all blew that video up so I decided to do it again not for the views but for the conversation that came from it and just like the scene at Danny's place I feel like this one was even better better because I could really feel the emotion that Duvall and Ebony were giving off. Like I, I've said it in a few videos I recorded today. It's easy to hate Karen right now. I, I definitely get it. I feel like even if you aren't a huge Zatima fan, you could find Karen's actions a bit insufferable, unbearable, and downright hypocritical. Um, But I cannot denounce her commitment to the role because for the first time in a while on the show that's not to say it hasn't had its moments mind you but i felt the range the acting and the raw emotion from both zach and karen and that just goes to show how talented the actors are so i wanted to start the video off by you know giving them their props you know giving credit where credit is due because looking back at this scene I feel like what made this even more enjoyable than the scene at Danny's house was even though it was slightly repetitive in places, it was nowhere near as annoying as the one at Danny's place where, no, I need to move on. Tell That's not how I want you to say it, Zach. Tell me, Zach. Tell me, Zach. Tell me. No, no, no. This was real raw emotion and I loved it. So before going further, keep in mind, this scene was about six to seven minutes long. I cannot play the entire clip. I know there are those who are unaware of the whole YouTube copyright that come to my channel. I want to hear Karen and Zach talk. I don't want to hear this guy talking over them. I don't want to hear them, you know, on mute and then this guy's talking over a clip or just screenshots from the conversation. Look, watch the episode yourself. Find it online somewhere. I think you can watch it on BET.com or if you, um, you know, recorded it on your TV or phone. Look, it's 2021. There are plenty of ways you could find it online. So if you want to see the raw episode without my dialogue, go find it. Episode 20, We Got Time, which aired last week. I'm going to talk about every line of dialogue. Um, you know, like I did last time, I'll recite every bit of dialogue. I'll talk about, you know, the range. Like I even had got my notes. Like, okay, this is when Zach kind of teared up or this is when Karen got emotional because it was really good. So I'm going to um, play just a small clip. Remember, YouTube be tripping, especially Viacom. I can only play about 20 or 30-ish seconds and then I got to talk over it. So without further ado, before I show you that clip, because I played a little bit of it at the start of this video, make sure you take a moment to hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Hit subscribe as we move closer to 200,000 subscribers on the channel. Hit the bell icon and select all. That way you don't miss out whenever I post content on the channel. And follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. And you got me locked up. I told you. I thought we just hit a new low, okay? I am sorry. It was a mistake. I, you know my record. And I'm that's... sorry. But that's what you do to me. To me? It's a mistake wasn't a mistake, Karen. And don't be sorry, because it was that moment. It's that moment, I just... Okay, so to set the scene, you know, this is towards the end of the episode where Zach is on fire. 
after finding out what Karen did by barging in and stepping to Fatima at the law firm, basically at her job. He comes to the salon, asks Pam, you know, pretty sternly where Karen was, brushing off her nosiness, like, you sure you want to go back there? The last time you went back there, it's like, Pam, I don't have time for this. Is she back there? Yeah, she is. Is um is old boy back there? No, she's by herself. So he just barges and you know, Karen's looking at her books and, you know, uh, like last time, I want to talk in my normal voice and I say normal loosely because given that I've been recording most of the day, my voice isn't at a hundred percent. I'm not sick, sick, just a little sore throated at the moment. So I'm going to try to do the best Karen impression I can. <laughs> I can't promise you it will be as, you know, kind of either funny or on point with the accent like I usually is. So just keep that in mind. Somebody actually told me this in the comment section. And when I went back to listen to the video, I was laughing at myself. Somebody was like, look, I know R. Kelly is a touchy subject, but back in the day with the whole back uh, trapped in the closet stuff, that white girl Bridget, the way you talked when you did a Karen imitation, it sounded like you were doing R. Kelly's voice for Bridget in the, uh, trapped in the closet series and when i went back to listen to it i'm like holy crap that was not planned but you're right <laughs> all right okay so let's let, let's get to it karen says zach because there's a bit of surprise in her voice remember she's looking at her books and you know um zach just barged into the office what the fuck what are you doing here so you going at fatima now you act like you you ain't never popped up on pause yes even though i don't like how she went at Fatima earlier in the episode. Zach has done this multiple times. Him and Aaron have gotten into like two fights once at Karen's apartment. Uh, they tore up a lot of stuff there. And then of course, the second time was when he broke into the hotel room and then uh, in the middle of them about to have sex, you know, uh, they got into a fight there too. But that doesn't even amount to uh, count all the times that Karen and Aaron are alone at her apartment, standing outside of her apartment, and Zach just rolled up on that bicycle. So, Karen is not wrong when she says, you act like you ain't never popped up, up on. So, for the record, Karen is right. I'm not saying what she did was right, but she is right in the fact that, well, Zach, you know, pot, kettle. What do you say? What is it? What is this? I just, and then she lets out a long, you know, sigh, just got mad. Why the fuck are you mad? We're done. We're over. Are we? Yes, we are. Then tell me that, Zach. Tell me. Tell me we over. Tell me you don't love me no more. Tell me that. Karen, I'm not going to lie to you. I love you. I do. But we are not good for each other. We're not. Okay, again, I like the fact that he's being honest, but I just wanted to just, I was so, I don't know. I felt more, I felt as annoyed with Zach saying, I love you, Karen, as I did with Karen, you know, continuously saying in the last time they met, I need to move on. You need to tell me this so I can move on. It's like, Zach, don't, don't say the L word. Look, I know you got love for her, but just don't say it for the love of God. Don't say it. Every time you say the L word, it's like you're giving her hope. And that's the last thing you want to do right now. Um, so Karen's like, uh, hang on. Actually, no. Um. I have never seen you be this mean to me. Wait, what? Like, I just, I don't really see where she's getting this from. It just seems like she's completely out of left pocket here. We've always made up. Not this time. We not. Why? Because you paid? Oh, come on. Because you don't need me anymore? What is it? Keep that shit up, okay? It's that kind of stuff that makes this shit easier. And I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Because the way Karen's acting now, it's like how Gary is with Andy to an extent where, you know, one minute... They're apologetic. The next minute, they're being back to being a bitch or an asshole. The same thing that causes the rift in the relationship to begin with. Which, the way Karen's been acting lately, this just further reinforces the fact that despite Karen seemingly wanting to get back together, they would go back to square one. Go back to the last time these two were here in the salon. Not when they were effing in the salon office, but when Zach gave her the check and they pretty much made a clean split. Karen was the one that said... Well, if I told you what's on my mind now, I would just say, let's go back to my place and make up. But we've done that one too many times. Who's to say we'll just end up like we always do. We get back together. Before you know it, we're at each other's throats. And that's exactly what's happening now. It's just that Zach wants to break the cycle. So, I'm sorry, okay? You think I want to keep loving you? You think I want to keep doing this to Aaron? You know, I want to keep calling him your name really zach i can't i think about you too i can't 
I was up calling your I wake up calling your name. I think about all the times that you saved me. How many different ways? How many different times? I think about the first kiss. The first time you touched me. So you just tell me. Tell me. And it stops. I want it to stop, Zach. I want to stop. Okay, first of all, this is exactly what Danny told you not to do. Don't think about only the good times. Think about the bad times, too. The stuff he put you through. This is pretty much the same stuff that Karen told Andy not to think about when it came to Gary. Hell, Miss Irene said the same thing as well. And also, it's like, let, okay, you know what? I'm jumping too far ahead. Let me keep going. <clears throat> Karen, I think about it too. I do. Again, Zach, why the hell are you saying this to her? You do? Yes, but Karen, we are not good for each other. Honestly, this was probably the most repetitive line of this dialogue, but it's such a good line and it shows Zach's character growth that I really like it. So I don't mind it. And then she goes, so you love her? And then, you know, this is when Zach starts to tear up. I do. And this is when Karen just fully breaks down. And this is when I'm like, oh, damn. Okay. Even though I'm like, girl, shut the hell up. I did feel the emotion in the scene. More than you love me. And then, like, it's almost like Zach wants to, like, embrace Karen, but he kind of stops himself midway. So maybe at the very least, we don't see the camera go down. We pretty much see, like, they're, you know, a little below their shoulders, but that's it. Because it's almost like Zach reached out to kind of hug her. Like, no, don't do that. But I think he might have, like, maybe lightly grabbed her arms to kind of turn her around in his direction. Like, no, don't do that. But, again, the camera was panned too far up for me to see. But regardless, uh... You know, Zach was trying to calm her down in that moment. Uh, so from there, tell me, Zach, it, it's different, you know? She encourages me. She makes me laugh. And then Karen kind of scoffs at this. I never encourage you. I don't encourage you. I didn't say never. I never supported your business as you tried to start. I never held you down when you were in and out of jail. I never gave you thousands of dollars. Zach, if that ain't encouragement... Then I don't know what is. It's not just that. Not just the money, Karen. You have said some shit to me that I just can't get over. You, you, you ain't said shit to me? You ain't done shit to me? Yes, I have. And I'm willing to get over it. I can't. What did I say? Huh? What did I say? What did I say, Zach? And if I'm like, if there was a way that God could have stepped in here and showed like a little clip show of all the times Karen has torn down Zach and again Zach admits to doing stuff to her yes he did give her an STD pre-season one because in episode one she mentioned how she needed antibiotics to get rid of something he gave her from cheating but Karen has said some effed up stuff I know they say actions speak louder than words but words can also hurt as well so there are people who are in full adults 40s, 50s, they're in therapy from things that they were told from other people. Sometimes family does it the worst when they were younger and they're getting therapy for it because it messed them up that bad. So you look at Zach and all the things Karen has said, but let's speak specifically about when she barged up on the plane at his job and literally told him off that I wish I'd never met you. And then that's like Zach saying, well, I should have let you die. So Karen of all people and you know what forget all that because zach even says the one thing that i feel justifies the way he's acting and think of it this way for zach you know saying it's not just about the money karen said the exact same thing in season one when zach is like you know what i give you as much money as i can it's not about the money zach i need somebody to make me feel loved protected a strong man somebody who is there for me after they nut you know basically alluding to aaron and kicking zach out of the apartment so Karen is she's done what Zach is doing now multiple times you know the fact that I've moved on you need to do the same so hey okay so and that's one of the worst things when those like memes or whatever is like when somebody who's the problem when somebody asks you what the problem or what your problem is but they're the problem you have that's pretty much what's going on here okay so Zach's like a Karen the last thing you said was that I was a thief and you got me locked up. I told you. I just thought, okay, and this is the part that had me caring. Okay, this is where I'm like, I can't, I can't rock with you. I just, I told you. I just thought we hit a new low and I'm sorry. It was a mistake. No, that's like effed up because he's like, I, you know my record. I'm sorry. But that's what you do to me. 
to me. It was a mistake. She says it so weakly because she knew she effed up because Zach says it wasn't a mistake. Karen, and don't be sorry because it was that moment. It was that moment that I knew I couldn't go back. I can't do this no more. I can't do this. I can't. So please, please just, so we really over? I don't know how else to say it. It ain't over for me. I'm sorry about that for you, but I'm done. We over, so I'm going to need you to leave Fatima out of this. Please, please. She ain't got nothing to do with it. Me and you. She ain't got nothing to do with me and you. So he turns to leave. And then Zach, what? I'm pregnant. And then that's the end of the episode. This scene was a roller coaster, roller coaster of emotion. But here's the thing. My favorite part, you know, aside from Zach straight up saying we're not good for each other, was the fact that he knew at the moment he got locked up. It was when he knew he couldn't go back to Karen because despite all the breaking up to make up and, you know, despite despite the fact he cheated on her multiple times, gave her an STD, even an STD scare. Hence why her first scene in the series was getting uh, the test results to see if she had caught another STD from Zach's cheating. Um, it's the fact that Zach knew at that moment that Karen really thought the worst of him, despite all the things Zach did to Karen, oh, we still love each other. And despite all the things that Karen said about Zach tearing him down, I still love her. To have the person you love think so little of you and think so badly of you that they think they would actually still, like, don't get me wrong, I know you probably wonder, well, Jeremy, all the cheating and stuff that Zach has done to Karen, he gets in his feelings because she figured him a thief. It's the fact that Karen wouldn't have done that if she really didn't believe he stole from her. But she flat out thought that Zach took that money, the credit card, and stole. And that was when, you know, he went to the salon pleading with her to believe him because, you know what? It made me feel like crap every day to see you get up and grind to make your dream a reality and get your salon. Why would you think I would ever steal that away from you by taking that card and, you know, running up the $5,000 bill? So... It's just like everybody has their breaking point, and I can fully understand why Zach in that moment was like, Karen knows I have a criminal record. Karen knows I believed in her dream. Karen knows I loved her. But for her to think that I would sink so low as to straight up steal from her, that's, that's it. I can't go back. So, I mean, I feel like there's a lot more I could say about the scene, but I think I've said everything there... And that, ha that needs to be said, you know, of course, from all the dialogue that was mentioned, um, I just feel like the actors did an amazing job. We truly got a grasp of, yes, Zach is moving on, but now we know why he's moving on. It's the fact that if Karen believed he was a thief, there's no way he can ever go back to her without them again having a falling out. And for Karen to be so delusional, to be so oblivious to all the things she said to Zach. I mean, remember that one time where she literally humiliated this man with Aaron standing right there. This was early season one outside of her apartment. And Aaron was just so taken aback. Like, what you just did to him, you're not going to do with, to me if we're ever together. He just walked off and Karen's like, what did I do? And honestly... Zach is right. These two aren't good for each other. I feel like Fatima and Zach together, to be honest, Aaron could kind of do the same thing for Zach. That's not to say Aaron isn't perfect. I mean, Aaron is perfect or Fatima's perfect. It's just that they help bring out the best in Karen and Zach, respectively. I mean, hell, even the girls noticed there was like a certain glow and a certain way that Karen carried herself when she was with Aaron in season two. Same thing with Zach. You know, Danny noticed how happy and confident he is when he was with, with Tima. So I honestly think that these two having this beautiful scene, which again, very well acted, even though the ending had a lot of people in their feelings. But I don't really think anything can compete to the scene in the salon where he handed her the check and it had like one final goodbye. Because everything after that felt like a, it was like taking a knife and stabbing that scene to death. Because it was so well done. This scene rivals that in terms of the acting. But in terms of Zach 
really admitting why he can't go back to Karen, I feel is like next level maturity. So that's just my opinion. Um, this was my dissection of the scene. I truly enjoyed it. I'm intrigued to see how things will pick up in the next episode when, you know, we deal with the aftermath of Karen telling Zach that she's pregnant. Um, are there any more thoughts that you want to add to this discussion? Please feel free to add them in the comment section below. Like these kind of videos are where I dissect the scene line for line. I talk about the different body language and, you know, how a line was spoken or just the little pauses or the rolling of eyes, just little things like that take these scenes to the next level i'm thinking about doing the same thing for the opening scene where you have fatima and karen facing off and then karen and andy before she leaves that's like the first five to seven minutes of the episode i might do it i don't know it just depends because again that's a lot of writing but overall it was a very well acted scene it's just like i feel like this scene was better due to the fact that it wasn't karen showing her ass it was karen actually showing emotion sure she had a tough exterior at first acting like she wasn't the problem not to say zach wasn't a factor as well but she just fails to neglect to see what she did wrong she just wants to look at the good times and to be honest it's like sometimes you can't accept that a person's moved on without you but you kind of have to because you know what can you do so let me know your thoughts um like i said if you didn't want to hear my voice the entire time go back and find the episode online and watch the scene for yourself and just see how beautiful it's done let go of your frustrations of karen trying to hold on to zach and saying she's pregnant look at the scene pay attention to the continuity from the credit card theft to you know all the good times they had together uh zach saving karen but at the same time reflect on all the negative things they've done to each other so that's all i got um like and subscribe donate if you would like on paypal or cash app but with that being said I cannot tell you how much I appreciate the support, especially on videos like these, these where I do deep dives into specific scenes, the acting, the character, the continuity, the emotion, because these lead to some very, very great discussions. So thanks so much for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next video.